At MGMs, has Steph Curry as the odds-on favorite at plus 110 to win the NBA Finals MVP. Not far behind him at plus 175, Jason Tatum of the Celtics. So, Chelsea, fact or fiction, somebody other than Jason Tatum or Steph Curry will win the Finals MVP award. This isn't a fact, but I'm going to go a different route here and say it's worth a shot. So even if it's not a stone cold fact that somebody other than Jason Tatum or Steph Curry are going to win the finals MVP, it is still worth a shot because looking at some of these long shot odds for Warriors players, because look at the Warriors all season long. It's not just been Steph Curry. In fact, I had an MVP uh, ticket on Steph Curry to win the MVP. And that was the worst bet I think I've ever made because it's been other guys. It's been, uh, you know, Andrew Wiggins has come on strong lately. Jordan Poole has had a great season. Draymond Green is an excellent defender. And oh, by the way, Clay Thompson enters this series on fire. 32 points last game and couldn't miss a shot. We all know he is a splash brother for a reason. So looking at Clay Thompson, 14 to 1 and win finals MVP. I think it's somebody other than Steph Curry if it's the Warriors that win. Because look at Steph Curry. He doesn't have a single finals MVP to his name. So if you think it's the Warriors, I think there is plenty of value across the board at other guys not named Steph Curry. However, if it is the Celtics that win, it probably is Jason Tatum. Yeah, I'll say fact as well, Chelsea, just because of the value involved and because of so much talent on both sides of the ball. I mean, who's to say Marcus Smart doesn't step up or Jalen Brown if you're the Celtics? And, of course, you've got Wiggins and Jordan Poole. There's just so many guys who could have a factor on either side here. I know it's easy to go with the chalky plays, but Steph Curry has never won a Finals MVP. There's no guarantee he'll do it here, even though I think the Warriors are going to win this series. So I'll say fact. You know, I, I'm going to have to say fiction just because – if the Warriors win, we always talk about how these awards are based off of narratives. And I find it hard to believe that in his fourth ring, Steph Curry will not win a finals MVP when there's no Kevin Durant around. Yes, there's a lot of value on Klay Thompson. Yes, there's a lot of value on Jordan Poole. Even someone like Al Horford, I think, has a lot of value. But I think if the Warriors win, it's Steph Curry. And if Steph Curry has one good game in game one, that plus 110 is going to become minus 140, just like that. So I think... That's the only value as far as Steph Curry goes, but it's not much. How much are you worried about the the idea that Marcus Smart guards Steph Curry and maybe slows him down? I know I keep mentioning that. Not Is it a all. real possibility or am I – oh, not at all? I'm not concerned. Really? No, no I'm not concerned one bit. Steph – it's Steph. He's the greatest shooter of all time. I know. I'm trying to play devil's advocate, but I don't – look, it's not like Steph Curry hasn't played great defenders throughout his career, so he'll probably get his. But I'm trying to make a case for maybe Steph not winning it because that's probably the bet at plus 110. Do you think there's any value there, though? I mean, the only thing I'm saying is like the value is just like you know if he has like a 25-point game and hits five threes in game one, that plus 110 is now minus money. Uh, so in that true. sense, that's valuable. You I think Chelsea's Chelsea. talking, but I don't hear her. Chelsea, are you muted? Oh, yeah. Fact or fiction? <laughs> oh, there you go. Chelsea's <laughs> muted. Fact. I was just going to say, let's do a little fact check and look at the, the finals MVP over the years because we say, oh, well, the, the star player on each team may not win. It hasn't been the case because it's been Giannis, LeBron, Kawhi, Kevin Durant twice, LeBron, and then Andre Iguodala. So there is a chance that somebody, not one of the stars, wins this award. But looking at history... It's usually been the stars. No, that's a good point. When you read that list of names, Andre Iguodala sticks out like a sore thumb. Nothing against Iggy because he was great when the Warriors won that championship with him just balling out. But as you said, as you pointed out, normally it goes to the superstars. Yes, and that's why I think if you like Steph Curry and you like the Warriors, you have to get him now because one good game and that's minus money. Yeah, that's a good point. Plus 110 right now at BetMGM, and like you said, if he balls out, you're not going to get a better price on that.